To download Bleach Hack, you want to head over to their official website, bleachhack.org, and right here you want to head over to the Downloads tab. And then you want to select the version where we're going to select 1.1, and then you want to download Bleach Hack 1.1 for 1.16.5. You can do that by clicking on that button, and the download will start automatically. Now you will also need fabric for 1.16.5 to be able to use Bleach Hack. If you don't have it or you're not sure how to get it, It'll be linked down in the description below. Anyways, now we want to head over to our Minecraft mods folder. If you don't have a direct shortcut to it, I'm going to show you how to get it get to it right now. You want to press on Windows and R at the same time. Type in a percentage sign, app, data, and then another percentage sign, just like so. Then you can hit on Enter or click OK. Then this folder right here should pop up. Or this one. Either way, you want to make sure that you are in roaming right there then you want to go into dot minecraft and then scroll down a little until you find the mods folder here as you can see i already have a bunch of mods these aren't for 1.16.5 so i'm going to delete those and as you can see here in my downloads we have bleach hack for 1.16.5 we can drag this from our downloads right into the mods folder over there and once that's in there, we can close up both of these and simply open up the Minecraft launcher. In here, you want to make sure that you select version Fabric 1.16.5, then you can click on Play and Minecraft will launch. And here we are inside of Minecraft, so there is a lot of stuff going on already. You can drag this around and stuff like that as you can see um, we can click on this minecraft button to return to the regular minecraft launcher view if we wish to do so and here at the bottom we have bleach hack of course which is the tab we're currently using we have the account manager where you can create an account login save data and stuff like that then we also have the click GUI. You can right click on all of these to open them. And this just simply allows us to access the click GUI in this case from the main menu. And then we also have the credits down there, of course. Anyways, here I've just gone into a world and I'll show you how to use it. So to open up the menu, you want to press on right shift and we'll be back at the click GUI where we were earlier as well. I've also quickly expanded all these now as you can see. So these are all the utilities that this client has. You can click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off. As you can see, a few of these are going to be enabled by default. If you're not sure what they do, you can simply hover over them and you'll get a little bit of a description. Now you can right click on them as you can see and that is going to give you um, well, a little bit of a customization menu and stuff like that. These vary per thing. Some of them will have more customization and some of them less. Um, and they all work differently. And see, there are a few things on screen. In the top left, we have an array list, which basically says bleach hack. And then it has a list of all the things that we currently have enabled. And then the bottom left, we just have some general information. We can use right shift once again to open up this menu and you'll see that that is under UI over here. We can open up the customization menu for that um, and that is going to allow us to customize this UI, choose what we do and don't show here. Anyways, you can simply click on it to just turn it off. As you can see, then our screen will still be, will now be completely clean. However, we can still, of course, use this right here. Discord RPC is also enabled by default. If you're not going to use it, you can just simply disable it as well. So that was basically it for the click GUI, um, which is this area. Now you'll see here in the bottom left, it says the current prefix is the dollar sign. Um, and that basically means for the chat commands, just like you would use regular slash in vanilla Minecraft, we can use the dollar sign here to use to execute custom bleach hack commands. So you can type the dollar sign in chat and then help just like so. And this will give you a list inside of the chat displaying all of the commands. And you can basically just use these commands to do a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at the bind command for an example. This allows you to set a key bind for modules, right? So it's uh, pretty useful. I definitely recommend using it. We can open up the click GUI to choose something to set it to. For example, flight. Um, so then we can type here, dollar sign bind, then set because we want to set a key bind. 
then the module, which in this case is going to be flight, and then whatever key we want, in this case F. Now, as you can see, we've bound flight to F, which means that every time I click on F, we can start flying. And then I can click on F again, and we'll stop flying. And that is basically how simple it is. Most of the um, commands also have descriptions, as you can see, um, as well. If you are still confused or have any questions, then of course, do feel free to leave those down in the comments below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.